and big things. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Steve is off next week, but he gets, he doesn't get off that easy. All right, because we got him out there now kicking things off with his uh, secret perfect stuffed burgers. Which you whipped up last night. Yeah, you Steve. have no idea what they taste like, do you? Right. Ah, a little bit. Let's get two things straight. First of all, I'm not so sure about the unfortunately part. And second of all, it's far from perfect. So what I want to do is set the bar low for all of you guys so that you can come in next week and you can just totally run with it and own it. All right, so here's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some super simple stuffed burgers. And uh, as Sarah said earlier when she said stuffed burgers, she's like, oh, I do mine with roasted red pepper and they're so exquisite. It sounded way too healthy for me, so come on over. Here's what we're going to do. Super easy. You can do it with the family. What we did, I pre-mixed. This is turkey, actually, so it's, you know, it's, it's fairly healthy. We're going to just make a little dent in the burgers, and I mix it up with a little egg and some panko breadcrumbs, some spices in there as well. We're going to do the quick version of it here. So we're going to put some cheese in between these patties here. You can do this much more delicately at home. Kick it up. I put a little chopped up some jalapeno. We'll put that in there. But you don't taste it quite that much. So it's a little spicy, but it really just gives a little bit of a kick to it. And then I use a little bit of wing sauce, and we'll put that in the middle, and that'll keep them nice and moist. Now, I'm going to apologize because when I asked it to grill be turned on in advance to get it warmed up, I didn't realize until I got out here it was turned on on high. So it's been cooking at about 600 degrees right now. So these are going to be extremely well done. All right, so we put the lids back on them, which is just a second patty. And then there's various ways that you can kind of close them off. But basically what I do is just try to seal off the edges a little bit. And then we're just going to kind of rewrap them a little bit so we can get all that good stuff inside, ball them up a little bit, and then we'll flatten them out again. And then you got a nice patty there. So we'll get these two ready to go. I know Tucker is just, you can't wait for this after I got you soaked earlier. Steve, I have a secret confession. I learned more watching you, Justin, make prepare these than I've learned in my entire life watching Food Network. Well, see, there you go. We've got a, we've got a future. Maybe we can work on this together. Guys yeah. who can't cook. Yeah. And then we'll <laughs> do that, right? Maybe that should be the bar. All right, so here's the deal. So now we got them all sealed off. All right. Can you grab the grill for me, Tuck? You mean, like, open it for you? Yes, please. All right. All right, now. Oh, those look good, though. We're going to throw one here. And you really only need to grill them for about four minutes on each side. You can put some olive oil on them if you want to keep them uh, a little fresher on the grill if you like. How do you keep them from exploding, Steve? Well, that's that was because the grill was so hot. And okay. like I said, you don't normally grill things at 600 degrees, mm -hmm. except maybe that pizza if you want it to cook really quickly. Okay. Well, let's get some out here for you guys. Steve, how come you didn't ask me to help? Julie, this one's for you. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you here. Why don't you take that? Okay. And I just well, played really it up with a little lettuce and a little more wing sauce on them. Wow. Whoop. Well, that's not good. Steve is setting the bar pretty pretty high so here. They kind of look like time. little crab cakes. Suck. Sorry, apologize for the hands. Wow. But I'll cut one open. What's up with that sorry looking bun you gave me? I had a little problem <laughs> honey, with the bun. getting a little squish. <laughs> I'm not an expert, as you can that's tell. That's what God gave you, honey. <laughs> so. Okay. I'm going to eat it in a minute. Well, but that I one kind of fell apart. But as you can see on this one. Right. Go, so, talk. Steve, does it take longer to cook them when they Here's have a the filling? Good stuff inside. Ignore the bun and the ugly rest okay. of it. Okay. No way. I've, got, I've got a question. Is this turkey? It's turkey. Are you okay with turkey? Yeah, I'm good. And then, no, just, don't worry about that one. Does it take longer apart. to cook than a normal burger when you got stuff in it? Uh, it's, well, just because it's thicker. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's going to take a little bit more time to cook all the way through. But that's okay. cooked all the way through. You can go ahead and try it. Don't expect. All, right. all right. Now, before I eat, I want to do some weather very quickly. And uh, sunny, and beautiful. Yeah, 70s. Right yes. now. Low humidity, gonna be a beautiful afternoon Come if you wanna hit the barbecue. I'll take this mess Wanna go to the ass. pool. One for the trouble. Hey, wait a minute, I ain't gonna just try it. Yet. Uh, and we are expecting temperatures in the low to mid 80s this afternoon. So uh, things are just going to be close to ideal around here later this afternoon. You're not gonna just bite in, Julie? And tonight. Okay. You're gonna, gonna share. Well, I was gonna share, but. All right, here we go. Steve's Magnificent Burger. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You all right? Good job. Steve, that's awesome, man. You like it? Mm -hmm. What are you going to cook next week? Uh, I have, it's undecided. <laughs> Soap in the air? I don't know what he's going to cook, but we're going to oh, no, no, no. have the fire department close by. With the help of somebody else, we're going to do a cocktail together. <laughs> are we going to do that today? I don't know. We'll find out. Yes. Oh, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. How did we miss the alcohol bottles coming in already? And if we're going to be the bartenders, you know that drink's going to be strong. <laughs> it has you know been what a I mean? long week, Julie. Has it, it has been a long week, and it is Friday. I find you don't even have to mix anything and make it delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah. Yummy. Come Barbie. on out, Sarah. It's a turkey burger. I know. It sounds I'm great. I'm speaking with my mouthful, but no roasted red peppers. But when you want to be a little more unhealthy, Sarah, mm -hmm. 
you can go and load it up with the cheese. And I like the hot sauce. I know. It looks too. really it's good. Actually, Steve, I'm really impressed. So I really am. You were yeah, doing that like, I thought I, I was watching a Food Network yeah. segment. You, one, you know. one of the shows I like. He can cook and talk at the same time. Yeah. It's pretty good. Steve, that's impressive. All right, looks good. Bring some back in here or we'll come out there hopefully eventually. You know Wisdom's going to show up with like a whole pig next week or something. How would you know? We're already trying to find one. Thanks, Steve. All right, still heading the box beat. Uh, walking a rainy red carpet with the stars of the new Transformers movie. We're going to check in with Kevin on his final day in Hong Kong. Mm. Did you see his hair? He was all like wet. Yeah. You can catch me chilling by the ocean with Brazilian feminine sipping on potions. Girls looking like.